Welcome to Chapter 7, and let's have a look at what it's about. Okay, so Chapter 7 is all about destructible game objects. So, you know, turning your items into things that you can destroy. For example, like this house here. So I can pretty much shoot at it and destroy it. But more than that, like I can shoot at a barrel, it ignites, I can then go pick it up, it's in my inventory, bring it out, throw it, and boom, it explodes. Uh, I could do more than that, so I'm just going to grab this one and pull it out, throw it at these golems, and boof. So there you can see that it takes them out, or I can, uh, I can actually pick up the hut there because I made it an item, and I made it a destructible item, so it can be destroyed. Uh, I can go inside, where's the golem? I can shoot him, and if I'm not careful, I can shoot the hut and destroy the hut which of course is mighty silly, but fun anyway. So that is what Chapter 7 is about. It's about making destructible game objects. Now let's have a look at the events involved. I have a uh, destructible master script, three events, very simple. So you can see this deduct health, destroy me health low, and all that happens for the damage, there's collision detection, which will cause the health to deduct. So if you throw something heavy enough or fast enough, or well, rather both uh, conditions satisfied, then it will uh, cause health deduction. Or the object itself is traveling very fast, and it hits something, and uh, well, then that too will trigger a health deduction. Uh, if the health is low, so like below 50%, the, de the destructible health script will realize that. It will call the event health low event, and in turn, that will cause a particle system, for example, to appear, like the fire on the barrels, and cause the health to degenerate over time, and actually cause that health to go away. And, uh, of course, when it falls too low, then uh, that causes it to get destroyed, and, oh, the other way to get damage is by the take damage script. This is exactly like how the enemy one is like. Same method name as well, and you'll see why I've done that in a bit. Uh, anyway, when the uh, event destroy me is called, uh, you can see that these other scripts that are listening, uh, one of them, it'll do this explosion sphere, which is to cause an explosion effect and hurt uh, stuff that can be hurt nearby and apply a force to them if they have a rigid body attached. Uh, and then you can see here a particle system, so for example, explosion particle system. Uh, you can see a sound, uh, so for example, the explosion sound. Uh, down here, a very important script, which is to update the player inventory. And this is in case, for example, you have a barrel which is losing health, and while it's in the player's hands, it explodes. So at that moment in time, it is still in the player's inventory. So it's very important that their inventory in the background is updated. Otherwise, when the player brings it up, it will still have that barrel, and if the player clicks on it, the game will crash, because that's an error, because the barrel no longer exists. So that's an important uh, script. And then finally, uh, activate shards. So uh, you'll see how to use a modified version of the 3D modeling program called Blender, how to use that to make a fractured object. It's very powerful, it's very neat as well. And then you can actually bring that into Unity, and have it as a game object full of rigid bodies, which you just activate, and, uh, well, that's where you get the illusion. Well, well, actually, you do get the fractured object, and the destroyed object uh, in the place of the normal object. Uh, so that's, that's what this Chapter 7 is about. It's the most interesting chapter so far. Uh, so keep on going onwards, and, uh, well, I guess take your time as well as you go through it.